Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our Factorio Space Age playthrough. Now we are post-victory, crazy enough, um, and the goal is to work on making some artillery that we're going to send over and chase the biters away as kind of a nice little, a nice little goodbye. Send the biters back to the shattered planet. Um, so, uh, artillery, I don't even know how to make it. <laughs> let's let's figure that out uh artillery needs iron blue chips tungsten and refined concrete but it can be made anywhere same with artillery shells but given that tungsten plates only stack to 50 it's a lot easier to make well no it's easier to make artillery shells at Nalvis and the artillery turrets here i think maybe i don't know it's kind of kind of interesting um the range is better with uncommons speaking of range let's research a good three of those Ooh, shooting speed plus 100 percent yes please and damage, I don't really know how many we need, but we'll start those two. Okay, so... I mean... What am I doing? No, I do want to copy that. I want to remove those. That's what I'm doing. And then... Change you to be military artillery turret. What's the crafting rate on these bad boys? 0 0.02 per second. That's maybe I need three of these. Or four. We'll just let that go. And they stack to one. No, they stack to two. Wait, what? What does stack size of one at the bottom under the turret category mean? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Huh. Because the item artillery turret has a stack size 10, rocket capacity 5. But then the turret, it's, I don't know what that means. That's a weird measure. I've never seen that. Um, anywho, we will have the Derpamu, which is our Vulcanus trip. Grab from Vulcanus. 50 artillery. Yeah, I, it seems like it might have something to do with the ammo stack size, but it, it I don't know. I don't know if that's clear. Because these don't have any stack size listing under the turret category. Uh, what, do, what do rocket turrets list in the same category? Rocket turrets list nothing in that category. So yeah, I don't totally know what that's about. Um... Interesting. But anyway, we need to set up production of ammo unition here. Which... I don't... Can you use productivity for ammo or not? I don't know. Artillery shells? Probably not. No. I could do quality. We could make only uncommon shells. Uh, but we're probably gonna need to ramp up our radar making is what I'm what I'm thinking here. Alright, speed things up a little bit. And yes, I did do stack size of one like an idiot. Um Alright, 
Explosives. Let's ramp up. So is the Ascension still okay? Yeah, it should be fine. We're past, past the danger zone now. Explosives are being made somewhere around here, right? Down here? Oh. Is that really the only place? Uh, explosives. Yeah, seems like it. Okay, step one, uncommon. Step two, prod modules of the epic ah variety step three would be a hmm, one of these things what are these called beacon um do that step four Stack inserters. Like, there's so many ways, you know, to upgrade these old builds. Step five would be a faster belt, you know. Step six would be, uh... I mean, I guess this kind of counts as the same step as the beacon, but putting modules in the beacon. Step seven is rotating this correctly. All right, that should get me a lot of explosives, and then we actually have to put those into the chest. All right, need lots of boom booms. Okay, boom booms acquired. Now, where am I making radars? That's probably not gonna be good enough. I keep searching in the wrong way. Okay, this is radars. Upgrade those. Um. Technically, the quality is going to be an issue at some point, but at a 2% chance, it's not going to be an issue very soon. Um, I think I need to do something like that. of radars. Alright. How are we doing now? Are we making shells? Pump these up to super fast. And then... Ah! Oh no! I guess we have to do it this way. There we go. That should be enough shellage. And then... Now, there's not, like, two types of artillery shells, right? Am I... No, okay. And we're stuck. Are we stuck? No. We are researching. Derpamu. Do we have artillery on, on board? Oh, that defaults to importing from Navis. Cool, 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 cool. So, no. No, we have nothing on board. Uh, we are going to Vulcanus right now, though. And we have 37 artillery prepared. These are not functioning because of a lack of refined concrete. We have a lack of refined concrete because it's just slow af. Um... Let's speed this up a little bit. Do we even have beacons on Vulcanus? Yeah, yeah, we got beacons. And we have speed threes. Okay, we're fine. We'll be fine. 
I'm speed things up a little bit here. Still only for a second, but that's a, a lot better than what we were making before. What was I making before? Find concrete. We had about 90 a minute. Yeah, and now we have triple that. Still not very much, but it's enough. All right, Derpamu has arrived. And artillery turrets are on the way. Woohoo! Speakins? Yeah, beacons with speed mode. You got speakins, you got afikins, and you've got. I guess that's it, because there's no preakins or queakins. <laughs> Man, what if quality could be transmitted in a beacon? Just get above, above a 100% chance. That would be uh, pretty crazy. sure what I'm, I'm still not sure what I'm doing regarding what I'm doing next factory wise if we're gonna jump straight back into Pyanodons um, there is an issue with well I say an issue it, it's like updating to 2.0 is a little bit hairy because it requires some some big changes to how things are working you know and, and now there are some items that have spoilage and so my base my previous season two base might need to be retired. I kind of wanted to return to that one, but I, I'm wondering if there's enough changes that I'm gonna want to start fresh. I don't actually know. I'll need to figure that out at some point. But is this enough artillery shells? That's 150, that's 300 artillery shells. That doesn't feel like enough. 600 feels a little bit better. No, 900. There we go. <laughs> That's... Look, I want I want to make it rain. Okay? I, I want the biters to know that they're not welcome. Under, under no pretenses. Um... Okay, and then we want to import... Artillery. A hundred. And that should that should just work. Derpamu is Oh. We actually got all fifty. Perfect. So we'll have fifty artillery showing up any minute now. Uh Maria, Pi is already compatible with 2.0. I feel like a lot of people keep keep asking about that. Like we, we've known it's compatible for a while. I think a lot of people were just assuming it's not. I, I, because you're not the first person that said that, and you're not wrong. It is a lot of work, and it took a lot of work. But the Pi devs had access to 2.0 long before it came out, so it was pretty much ready to be migrated on day one to 2.0. And since then, they've made even more fixes and tweaks and such. So like valves weren't working properly at first, but they are now. Or at least the new version of valves is working properly. I don't know if they migrate perfectly, but the new valves work. Um, and a lot of things have been tweaked and improved to work for 2.0 already. So so you can totally play Pi Alternative Energy, the full set, already in 2.0. Um, now, the new Pi mods that they're making, Pi Stellar Expedition and Pi Aliens, which is the combat-related mod, those are still a long time in the future. But as far as like Pi as is working properly, it does work. Am I playing Snake? <laughs> yeah, I, I've I've the Snake is losing because it can't get out now. <laughs> you need an additional mod to make valves work, but that mod converts Pi valves. Wait, why haven't they just incorporated that into Pi directly? That feels weird. Oh, I'm out of tungsten. Okay. I was like, why are we not making more? Tungsten plates. Would it be better? I just realized this. 
Would it be better to make tungsten plates on Nalvis? Or not? Because you need four ore per plate, and it stacks to the same amount. So it's probably better to transport plates. They are considering it, but they didn't make the mod in the first place. I did know that I did know that it was someone else that made the mod and fixed it. I was hoping that that person and the Pi devs would figure out an acceptable. I don't know, you know, licenses are weird and stuff, so it may not be possible. But it'd be nice if it was just incorporated into Pi by default. I'm not even considering the molten as difficult on Navis or or Vulcanus. It's more a question of is it just easier to transport ore and then make it here. But I don't think it is, because you need four ore for every plate, and you're not going to get 400% productivity on a foundry. Try as you might, you're going to end up with only 150%. Or sorry, 300% prod is what you'd need to make it equivalent. So I don't think it's really worth it. Now, have we gotten here yet? Derpamu, where are you at? Yay! All right, all right. We should, therefore... And the Ascension is also... Oh, crap. I forgot we can make it full speed again. I need to have uh, an automated speed setter that only slows it down when it's going towards the Shattered Planet. Because ne we don't need to slow down when we're just doing normal stuff. We can go the full 270 or whatever this thing tops out at. Well, maybe not. I swear we were going at full speed before, right? Huh. Maybe not. I do think a couple more gun turrets would fix the issue. It is a gun turret problem. Um, yeah, maybe we need to be limited to like 200. Oh, I'm sorry, this is Solar System Edge to Aquilo, not Aquilo to, to to Gleba. Never mind. We can't do yeah, we've been we've been going slower since the Solar System Edge travel, not Yeah. I was misreading where we were in the in the travels. I was thinking we were here. This is where we can go full speed. Here we still can't go full speed. I like how this doesn't look that far. <laughs> it really should be like out here <laughs> because it's for, you know, this length is 30 megameters. This length is 100 megameters. So this length in terms of actual length would be about three times further. So it really, the solar system edge should be about here. And then the shattered planet is 4,000 megameters which is 40 times longer than the longer version of this would be. 120 times longer than this. So, yeah. It's a good thing they didn't make the solar system to scale, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. And then we also want to request more uh, railguns. But for now this, and we want to request repair packs. Okay. All right, so we should have artillery now. Is that is that correct? Ah. Artillery. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so let's go grab the arty. Ooh, let's grab some railguns too. Um and some some Tesla turrets. We'll use all the fun all the fun stuff. Uh, we are gonna need railgun ammo, which we'll just grab from space here. It'll just take a minute. Uh, and not only will it just take a minute, but we'll need to route it over to do some sharing. Gun ammo less than what is it stacked to? Ten. Put a hundred in there. 
Can railguns be placed on a surface? Yeah, that the. I mean, the only reason I know it can is because they showed it in the FFF. That's where it was shown off was on a cliff edge. All right, so that'll arrive. I guess they're both gonna be here soon. Oh no, that's not. I say both. We already had the Derpa Mushu, so now we're just waiting for the the Ascension to bring me real gun ammo. So where do we want to place our first little uh, our first little artillery bombing site? First thing I want to ask is how far will it shoot? And I can't see it. That's a bummer. You can't see it till you place it, huh? I place one ghosty, will it show me? No. Um, I really, w I've, I think I've already mentioned this. It would be really nice if turrets did the same thing that lightning rods do. When you're on Fulgora and you're building a lightning rod from map view, like zoomed out like this, it still shows, oh wait, do I need the ghost version of it? Hold on. No, that still doesn't show it. The blueprint version sometimes does something different, but in this case, no. But yeah, the south could be spicy. This is a nice place to put a lot of artillery and then not too much area to defend. They're all gonna, they're all gonna slam up against this little section here or this section over here. So that's not a bad idea. And there's a lot of juicy targets. <laughs> there's a lot of juicy targets. So yeah, that that's not a bad plan. And it's not that far for the bots to fly. I mean, do we even need damage upgrades? Like what's the artillery shell damage default to? Oh, it's actually not that much. 2,000 to the thing it hits, and 1,000 to stuff in an area of four. So it really is more for just sniping bases than anything else. Um, we also have a few rare radars, and that will help uh, scout some things here. So I'm going to place one there, and one over here. You only have a couple techs and they spam out shells. Well, the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the shooting speed upgrade is 100% per upgrade. It's kind of nuts. So uh, the shooting speed gets out of hand pretty quick. The range is a little bit more conservative and the damage is quite conservative. But anyway, we're waiting for the ascension. It's almost here. I kind of want to try a, a, a row of rail guns and then behind that a row of lightning turrets. What is that not going to kill? Like that's just going to wreck everything. I don't even know if we need the anything behind the row of rail guns, but it certainly will look cool. Alright, we're waiting I guess for turbo belts and then do we have we have a request of 10 rail guns it should be more like 30 um and why are, do we only have three cryogenic plants what is the synthus doing Do we not have cryo plants on here? Hmm. Am I failing to make cryo plants on... On Aquila? What's going on with that? Oh my. That's probably why. I didn't limit railgun turrets. Um, so that's been eating all of my carbon fiber. That seems to be the holdup. 
No, refined concrete. Oh, refined concrete, eh? So the Synthus needs to request yet another thing. Wait, it is requesting some already. So we're not requesting it on Aquilo. That's the issue. That's the issue. Okay. Um... Carbon fiber. This doesn't have any carbon fiber either. Don't tell me Glaba broke again. Or am I just not requesting it? No, I am requesting it. Um... What's wrong with carbon fiber? It's just really freaking slow. Is that the problem? I think that's the problem. It's just really freaking slow. And I don't have room for a beacon, which makes things worse. Okay. That's acceptable. I can settle for really freaking slow. It's still working. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just... I need better... Better Gleba designs for sure. Those were not... Not future-proofed, I'll just say. Okay, well, I should have what we need now. Um, did I put the request for ammo in? I don't think I did. Oh, God. Ammo. There we go. Now we're getting the ammo. Alright, grab that. Wait, I'm not in me. I'm not in my own self. Alright, there we go. Cool. A hundred slots of railgun ammo? Wait, what? Uh oh. Uh, maybe that is a bit excessive. Maybe I'll do 200 and a filtered provider. Maybe that is excessive. Although, might actually be okay. But this is a little better. Um, I guess that should actually be a storage. Now here's the question. I know that storage is a higher priority than passive provider, but where does cargo landing pad fit into the priority hierarchy? Is it above or below passive providers and is it above or below storage? I have literally zero idea where it where it fits into that that equation. Alright. Mm, automatic range is four hundred and yeah, 30, roughly. The landing pad is a provider. Yeah, well, which kind? Passive provider? I think 20 artillery is probably good. So that's the automatic range it's telling me, I think. And then the manual range is like... Absurd. It's like a thousand. So if I grab an artillery targeting remote. <laughs> yeah, we can manually target uh, anything on the southern hemisphere here. Um, so then I think I want to put these on a belt um, just because otherwise the bots are delivering to like a hundred different chests, which is kind of complicated and weird so I'll probably do two requester chests of artillery ammo munition 48 48 a couple more
Castle built. And then I'm not gonna power it up yet. That's that's intentional. I'll uh, I'll power that up. And then the shooting speed is 1.2 per second, which is kind of absurd. Um, that if that's really the case, we're gonna need a lot more. <laughs> we're gonna need a lot more. Uh, we're going to be using all the tungsten plate. The Derpamu. I guess could request a little more tungsten plate. 2500 maybe. Um. Okay, there we go. So there's the, uh, the aggressors. There's the aggressors. Um, now we need the defenders. The defenders... Defenders are gonna look... something like this. Excuse me. Um, okay, is that... It's so hard to tell if that's symmetrical. I think it is. And then... We need railgun ammo. <laughs> I always wish you could do that. All right, 200 shots. Those powered up. And then the lightning turrets. No! I can't fit three. Bummer. Um. Maybe I place them here and then I can figure this out. Yeah, because then I can do that. Could do designing something for legendary asteroids. Uh, I think someone was just talking about Bold Viking did that. Um, and has full legendary end game base on a single platform type thing. This is all in the strike zone here, so that needs to all go by. I will put walls uh, here. Just in case thing. I do. I do wish there was a, a version of force build that wouldn't kill cliffs, because it's it's kind of frustrating nowadays when you're wanting to build along the cliffs. You can't hold shift at all without accidentally cliff explosiving things. Um, two things are being damaged. Oh, what is happening? Oh my god. Goodness, I forgot to remove Shattered Planet from the <laughs> the path. Now, it does have repair packs. Are these getting repaired? That one is, that one isn't. Do they have a really long delay before they start getting repaired? What's going on there? Huh. 
curious, why is that one not getting repaired? It still isn't getting repaired. Does it only repair one building at a time? Like the entire platform? That would be weird. Oh, low power it had for a second. Are we having power issues again? No. Wait, what? Low power despite having... That many accumulators? No. That... Something's off. off because that's 48,000 kilowatts output that's 48 megawatts straight from accumulators on top of the 80 megawatts no no we have more than that I mean this number is accurate I can actually output up to 186 so why did one of the railgun turrets say low power does it just say low power while it's recharging itself even though it technically is receiving enough power from the network Huh, I don't actually know. Some, something's confusing there. Because it said low power for a moment in a situation where it certainly shouldn't have. Oh, I guess, I guess low power just means its own internal buffer. Look, we're seeing the same thing here. Ironic that we have sort of an answer to our question. So low power doesn't mean your network's low necessarily because its own internal buffer just isn't full. And that triggers a low power claim. Alright, we're just gonna have hella lightning turrets and these will kill anything that gets close. <laughs> um, I guess a lot of enemies are gonna attack around this way. So... What do I need? I probably need... I know this is ridiculous. Uh, but I probably want some stuff down here too. Because that doesn't really work. We gotta do it like that. No? More stompers. Okay, we do that. And then we have lightning turrets. What can go wrong? Some walls. I wonder if you can put a wall there. It doesn't show up. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, weird. Oh, the adjacent one can kill that one. So this one could kill that one. Interesting. Huh. That is interesting. But, like, that's fine. I'm not killing that one. Huh! More you know. Um, which means I can do this. No. Wait, what? I can do that. <laughs> that's so weird. <clears throat> there we go. Got to maximize your, uh, your your wall coverage here. Yeah, it's their minimum range that's making that work. Don't I need a diagonal one? Eh, not really. I mean, if biters come in at exactly that angle, we've got the lightning towers. So I'm, call I'm calling it good enough. The, the hashtag good enough strikes again. Now, the other issue is all the guys on this side, which I'm probably just going to... Oh... 
I'm out of lightning turns. No, I just don't have a request for them. Um, probably just going to add lightning turrets to these. Because I don't want to set up railguns 50 times right now. I just want to see them work. Because they're cool. I just think they're neat. That sort of thing. So I just think if we have a few lightning turrets scattered alongst the wall. We should see a pretty effective killage of all the biters. Ah, see, that's the thing. Ah, that's so annoying. And you can't undo it. Uh, hate that. Ah, uh, I really wish there was a way to to turn that off. Two point one, two point one upgrades. Uh, don't you have electric damage upgrades? That is a good. I I've done three of them, so it's not it's not at zero. But that's probably more important than Artillery 3, because that's only a 10% difference. So yeah, why don't we switch over to do another, another one of those. Tesla turrets use a huge amount of passive power. Well, good thing I have, like, like, I don't even know. I think we can actually provide 2.1 gigawatts constant with no issues. I might be wrong, but... They do cost a lot. They're 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 one megawatt per turret of a constant draw. But I don't really have to worry about that. Because we have fusion and fission. All the nuclear. Okay, I think we're ready. Uh let's turn this thing on. This is a save game moment. How do you turn this thing on? Oh god. Oh, there's attack one, attack two. Oh jeez. Here we go. It begins. Yes. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, it's so satisfying. Get wrecked. Alright, are they gonna attack? What are you guys doing? You guys just thinking about it? Oop! There's one that just got zapped. I don't know what these guys are doing. But these ones are about to get railgunned in the face. Oh, yes. 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 Oh. Beautiful. It was everything I ever wanted it to be. <laughs> Just a line. Immediate death. This corner is getting a little... Uh, I don't really know what I can do about that. Corner kind of gets attacked out of range. But I wonder which science I'm out of. Probably red and blue, to be honest. <laughs> Remember, everyone, we are the bad guys. It's true. It's true. And just like that, I think all the nests within that radius are gone. Oh, space science is the one I'm out of? No. It's actually military science. Uh. Probably because I never added a single beacon or anything. No, I did. I did turn it into red uh, productivity modules at some point, but I have not given it the whole the old overhaul here. Yeah, 
Yeah, military might have had a buffer that wasn't okay for a while. Space science seems to be... There's our, our spaghetti nonsense. Uh, space is okay. We have plenty of space right now. Well, lightning turrets are pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. <sighs> Very satisfying. And there you go. That's how you get enemies out of your pollution cloud. <laughs> we could have done with a lot less artillery turrets. Yes, that is true. But it's more fun that way. And now I can grab this guy and keep going. Wait. Is that not working? I'm clicking. Uh, I'm doing something wrong. Oh, you right click? Oh. Interesting. Would have presumed left click would be it. But yes, right click. Right click for death. <laughs> I'd love the mini map. All the glowing dots. Oh, come on, two more. All right, where's a nice big base? Right here. We'll just give every single nest its own click. And just, you know, kind of go back over the whole thing, just in case. Just in case. Reach out and say hello to our neighbors. I guess the nests aren't getting one shot is the problem. We probably need one or two more damage upgrades for that. But the splash damage helps quite a bit. You know what? We need the beyond all reason like RTS controls here where I can like drag a line and then like tell it how many shots I want it to take along that line and it just spreads it out all into one command. Oh yeah. Oh. Artillery is easily, as much as the railguns are sweet, I just think artillery is so much fun. It's so fun. Well, we already have uh, two damage upgrades, so given that they're 10% each it's, and we're killing most of a, a nest, it shouldn't be that many more. Uh, I guess the question is, does it upgrade? Yeah, it does upgrade the physical and the explosion damage, so maybe two more would get me there. It might be three, but it looks like we're killing about 70% of a spawner. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's fun. And we can, I guess we can do a simple setup where we do a turret and one of these and we copy that. And we can just do like, you know, one there, one there, one there. It's kind of along the front lines. Within our logistics range. Keep things cleaned out. Well, um, that's pretty much all I wanted to do. It feels weird that our, our playthrough is, is coming towards a close, but it really is. Man, they, they really went overboard on the, on the new biter death animations. I love it. It's just biter guts everywhere.
glorious. <sighs> no Promethean signs. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, Let's see. We were going to make that up here on the Synthus. Or on the Ascension. Um, so what? I need to... What do I need to do? Wait, why did I route this over here? I'm not sending it down to the surface. That's pointless. I can't do anything with it on the surface. Um, I will remove these for now. I don't need them. And... What do we... What do we make? Do we need cryo labs? What are we doing here? Yeah, cryo, plants, spider eggs, quantum processors. Oh, quantum processors? Okay. So... Yeah, it might be a little bit of work. Let's see, we've got... The problem right now is I don't think I have any quantum processors. So it, it might it might not be easily doable. Because we've got a carbon fiber hang up. Leba. Yes, you have to make them in space. Unless I misread that. Uh, it does say crafted on space platform. Crafting surface conditions, gravity zero. So yeah. Gotta make them in space. So really, the, this is the holdup of... of all the all the ultra late game stuff right now because we need that for every single um, what you call it. I'm trying to think. I could put I could put a beacon right here, but then I don't know how I get the carbon fiber out of this one. However, it's probably still. Worth. I have the epic beacons, and I have the epic speeds, so it's actually probably worth doing that anyway, and just having the outer two run. And then I can do that. And did I bring the prod three epics? Yeah, I even have the epic prod threes, so. Now it's a Yumako mash issue. Um, okay, that's a stack inserter. Where are you getting nutrients from? Do I really care? I don't think I care. Uh, okay, I think that might fix our problems. is going much better. I wonder what our carbon fiber rate has been over the over the years. So over the long history of the last 10 hours, we've mostly been making it at just under 100 a minute. And now we are at like 400 a minute, 3 to 400 a minute. Still ramping up somehow. Wait, how is that? How is that ramping up further? Are we gonna run out of carbon fiber? Yes. Carbon fiber is now too slow. Oh, that can be improved. Like this. Okay, it's not quite enough, but whatever. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, so that should help a lot with carbon fiber. Um, it takes a while though, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Given his track record, it'll fly it to novice, drop it to the ground, and send it back up. Yeah, exactly. Um, it really... Obviously having platforms that are more... Visiting the things they need to visit, rather than taking everything to novice and then redistributing, obviously that's more efficient. Um, but... Not the way we can quite do it yet. Can you make quantum processors in space? Ah, see, that's that's a big difference that I didn't realize. I thought you could only make them here. So then, yeah, it, it is going to be easier to send up the lithium and fluoroketones 
and then make these in space. Well, maybe that's not easier. Maybe it's easier to to just do an exchange where you drop the carbide conductors and fiber and bring back up. I don't know which is easier. Because the plates need holmium. Hmm. They both have their challenges. Um, Cause sending up the fluoro ketones and lithium, you're sending up a fifth of a barrel here, and you're sending up two plates here that, uh, let's see. Sending up one quantum processor seems a lot easier. Yeah, you don't, and that's the thing, is if you separate it, then you can even have a different ship that picks up these three things to take them here for making quantum processors. And then, and then the ship that's making, um, whatchamacallits doesn't have to worry about it. But, that being said, I don't know if we're going to make any in this episode, because we just don't have any quantum processors available. And that's going to be a bit of a lag time before it starts catching up. The issue was that I didn't... I didn't limit railgun turrets. So we've been spending all of our processors on railgun turrets. Um, and cryo plants are finally starting to build up. What are they stacked to? 20. Okay. Barrels don't count because you get hot fluoroketone back. Oh, I guess I didn't really look at the recipe very closely. Oh, you mean for the... Oh, no, that, that counts. You only get half back, though. So you do... You do... Oh, but does it... I'm guessing prod does not apply to the, the fluids. Because it's a catalyst. I'm actually really curious. Because then you'd be almost punished for having greater than... 100% uh, productivity because you'd end up overflowing your fluoroketone loop. Um, I'm guessing that does not productivity does not apply to that. Even though it's not exactly a catalyst because these are two different things. Whereas like with Covarex, you know you have 40 in and 41 out of the exact same item, and these are, one is cold and one is hot. Here I'm guessing it still uses the catalyst tag, so that productivity doesn't produce more hot. Or ketones. All my ships are at Nalvis right now. What are the odds? Um, okay. Well, this has been a great playthrough. I've really enjoyed it. I I don't think I, I don't think for me producing the Prometheum Science Pack feels all that special. It's just I've already got the asteroid chunks, and then it's just collecting these two things. I already have plenty of biter eggs right here, and then I could run over to Aquila once it's got some carbon fiber, grab some other things, make them, send them back down to Novice, and then for all of that, you get to start working on the research productivity, which increases even more. Gosh, there's so many different layers of product productivity in this game between rocket parts, the things to make rocket parts, the research productivity, the, the biter bio labs, the higher quality prod three modules, it really goes it really goes insane. I mean, yeah, Waskly, but that would require uh, like playing a lot further than I'm really wanting to play. Because like fully automating that properly would just be continuing the playthrough. And there's about, oop, there's about 500 things on my list of like things I need to do if I want to keep this playthrough going. You know, I, I have to fix so many things, improve so many productions. And that's, that's the further challenge. That's the intrinsic challenge but the extrinsic challenge is winning and that we have completed so i'm pretty happy with this playthrough future playthrough i think i will want more of a train network first off and um i don't know what would i do different 
Would I do a different order of the planets? I guess that's a, that. I feel like that's the popular question these days. You know, it's it's what order do you want to do the planets in? I actually really liked the order we we went in. Um, the one I might try a Vulcanus before Fulgora, but Gleba last felt like a really like the only reason I wouldn't do Gleba last would just be for a challenge or to switch it up. It wouldn't be because I actually have intrinsic reasons that I think the playthrough is going to go more easily or, or quicker or better for it. I do really like belt stacking, so getting that earlier is nice. Um, but but Vulcanus and Fulgora first helps Gleba a lot <laughs> and it also helps Nalvis a lot so that seems to make sense and having the mech armor was really nice for Vulcanus um, having the electromagnetic plants was nice for Vulcanus though I don't know if it really felt that necessary because you can already make so many plates so quickly and easily on Vulcanus it didn't really feel like we needed the productivity for circuits um, so I feel like you could do Vulcanus without the EMPs just fine. But, uh... And yeah, the better miners are really nice. Um, but yeah, you don't really need those on Fulgora. So Vulcanus and Fulgora feel a little bit like they're siloed. Um, in the sense that, like, you could do either one first. It's not going to massively help you or change what you do on the other one. They both do massively help Nalvis in a way that you kind of want to do both of them. And then Gleba feels like it has the most bonuses that are like separate from the buildings themselves because you don't really need bio chambers on Nalvis. It only would replace a couple things anyway, but it gives you the belt stacking and spider trons if you're doing combat stuff and something else I'm forgetting. Oh, the bio labs. So now your research is way more productive. So and prod three modules are kind of a big deal. Neither actually helps Gleba all that much. Uh, Aelor, I kind of disagree with that because on Gleba, the iron and copper are not that easy to produce. They actually use a decent amount of bioflux. And so having foundries and EMPs means that you need a lot less bioflux to, uh, to do what you need to do. So... I actually think it helped a lot to have foundries and, and EMPs. Ah! Oh my. Seems like we need a lightning turret over there. Ah, the artillery has begun attracting attention. Yeah, so what are what are the next plans? Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to I'm going to think about it uh, again. Some of you are from the future, so you probably already know what my next plans are because I'm already doing the next plans because I'm recording this the day before Thanksgiving. And I believe we're up to like December 7th or something is when this episode comes out. I could be off by a few days, but something like that. Uh, but yeah, Maria, you're welcome for the playthrough and Dave as well. Like, it's been a lot of fun. You guys have been great. All the comments on the YouTube videos and on Discord and, and live chat. It's been really fun hanging out with you guys since the beginning. The 12-hour 12, <laughs> 12 live streams, you know, when it first released was really fun. Um, this has been a sweet playthrough. And I really have liked Space Age. I do anticipate doing another, another episode. Um with my kind of slightly more put together thoughts on the expansion. And that will be, I don't know when that'll come out actually, but that'll be coming out sometime soon as a separate YouTube video um, rather than a stream. And other than that, I don't know if it will be Pyanodons <clears throat> or not, or if it will be something else. Path of Exile 2 is coming out very soon, so that's going to be the stream game for a bit. And I'm yet to decide what I'm going to do for the non-stream game. Just a reminder for those who don't know, because a lot of you are either new to the channel or you're old to the channel and you didn't know that I've changed it. I've kind of been not doing my norm for Factorio Space Age, because the new norm is that I'm going to be doing a separate 
stream series versus a straight to YouTube series. So like right now it's been the same game. I've been making, you know, the, the YouTube videos out of the stream, but that's not the norm. The norm is that I'm going to be doing a stream game, which will be Path of Exile 2 soon, where I'll be streaming that. I still haven't decided if I'm doing it on YouTube live or not. If you guys have any thoughts on that, please let me know. Um, I like rather than just Twitch by itself. And because if I do it on YouTube live, then I'm I've got it on the live section of YouTube, but not on the recorded section, like the regular video section of YouTube, which feels a little weird. But and I don't know if people who are watching the other stuff on YouTube want all of that live content. I don't know. There's pros and cons, and it feels like there's a lot uh, of back and forth <laughs> arguments. But that being said, if you have any ideas for games I can play or games you'd like to see me play or other Factorio things you'd like to see me do, definitely let me know. I'm, I'm all ears for ideas. Um, but yeah. Uh, am I doing early access for PoE? Uh, I don't know what that means. I thought early access comes out on December 6th. Is there an earlier, earlier access that I don't know about? And to reiterate all, I will not multiplayer Path of Exile 2. No, I'm 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 a solo player for those kinds of games. Um, like, even when I played World of Warcraft back in the day, I was mostly just a solo player. A raid here or there is fun, and you know if you have a guild that you're actually playing with consistently, but then it becomes like a job, and I don't like that. I don't like to like be scheduled for you like when we're gonna do this raid to get like that's too much for me. I like to just play a game and kind of go at my own pace. So generally, I play those games solo. Um, but yeah, uh, all that to say. Yeah, December 6th is early access date. Yes, that is when I will be playing Path of Exile 2. The, uh, the non early access for PoE 2 is not going to be coming out for, I don't know, a year, two years. I'm guessing it's going to be an early access for a long time. But yeah. Bionodons, maybe. Maybe Exotic Industries? Maybe something else? I don't know if Exotic Industries is updated for 2.0 even. I'll have to look into that, but we'll see. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching. If you do have... The one thing I would like ideas for uh, before I, I leave you future YouTubians, um, leave comments on what kinds of Factorio videos you'd like to see of the non-playthrough variety, right? Obviously, there's this type of video that you you like at least somewhat because you're here watching <laughs> the, the the final video in the series but like uh videos like my parameterized blueprint mall bot mall video or videos like a mod spotlight or videos like a base tour or videos like um a how-to on a simple thing things like that tell me what ideas you have and what types of things you'd like to see because i'm always looking for ideas and kind of trying to get a gauge on what what you guys would like to see um, cause I will be making more of those videos moving forward as well. Yeah. Like how to build a ship, uh, that sort of thing. So, so yeah, that sort of thing, share your ideas, let me know. And as always leave a comment, let me know what you think. I've appreciated you guys being along for the ride. And, uh, if you have other thoughts or comments, as always, you can head over to the Crydania discord. There's a link in the about section. It's very active over there. We got lots of people playing Factorio right now and some people playing the Satisfactory and talking about that. People playing Greg Tech New Horizons. So there's all sorts of, you know, the different games we've played over time, people chatting about those. So come over there, hang out with us. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next one, whatever that is.